Hello, my name's Geoff Summerfield and welcome to Iceland and this is another of my on the road reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about the Marmot Tungsten one person tent. Uh, this is the first time I've used this on this trip and now I've been sleeping in it for about 20 days. I have to say I'm very impressed. It's not very big, it's light uh, and it does the trick. It's not leaking at all. So I've had plenty of rain here in Iceland so the main thing is that it doesn't leak. Now temperature wise here it has been cold and with this type of tent because the wind can blow underneath you do feel the wind inside so maybe maybe not like a single skin tent would have been better for the cooler temperatures but that being said i haven't been cold particularly so as far as the tent's concerned I'm, I'm very impressed actually and it's still not leaking we'll see how the rest of the trip goes got about another 15 days to go it's day 25 and i'm pretty close to Reykjavik now um, so I'm going to do a quick update on my on the road view of my Marmot uh, tent. Uh, this is the problem. As you can see there, it's broken a pole. So I've used this tent effectively 25 times. I know how to put a tent up and this was a big thumbs up for this tent up until this point. But I'm afraid now it's a major thumbs down because 25 uses is not acceptable to break a pole. It does come with a um, repair kit, which I thought was great, but I wouldn't have to use it. You know, I've been setting the tent up properly, 25 goes is not acceptable. And if you'd been sort of out in the woods or a long way away from anywhere, you'd be stuffed now. So um, unfortunately, what was a good tent has become a bad tent so I uh, can't recommend it now I'm afraid so there you go yet another update on the tent front um, I'm now just putting the tent up again and I just checked all the other joints on the tent poles and about seven of them are all cracked so luckily I've got some Gorilla tape with me so I've taped them all up to try and keep them together but they're all cracked um, they're saving basically a few ounces and making these super lightweight poles but it's not going to last it's useless so unfortunately all I can say is don't buy the tent which is a real shame because otherwise it was a really nice little tent and lightweight but can't recommend it at all don't buy it really which is a shame I mean check out the, um, the links and see what other people have found as well but um, this is why these on, rear, on the road reviews are great because I'm properly using it you know it's, it's something if you used it you know once you know, once a month for a couple of nights, it would take a long time for you to discover the problem, but, but I've discovered it sort of fairly quickly, so and it's rubbish. There you go. Please subscribe below and check out the links for the tent to see how much it costs. I think it's about normally around about $180. Thanks very much.